Yo, what up, YB 5D here. After two days of break from the Maranix Fusion, we are finally back to it on day 99 of the Noob Pro series. Yes, I wanted to show you there are big changes that have happened to this account right now that is going to push us to where we need to be. This is all because of artifact enhancement is currently going on and I promised you guys that I was going to change all the gear on most of these champions that I built earlier last month or two months ago when we started the series with some um scrap gear right now we found the dragon we finally got the gear leveled up and now we put it on three more champions in this video so the first champion i had to regear was deliana because if we are going to push nightmare which we are currently beating at four key if we are trying to do it at three key we'll need deliana to survive longer and because of that leech she doesn't need life steal now most champions like frozen banshee who are used for other places like kale will still be in life steal but deliana doesn't need to be in life steal I know that a lot of people use her for other content in retaliation set but i decided to put her in this stalwart set which is perfect for the clan boss which is the content where we currently use her this is the skill that she brings to the clan boss if you're not aware of it there is it this block his um does his increase attack that he places on himself this is the only champion that can take care of it right now on my team so she is booked well enough to always put that um block um block buff debuff on the clan boss that's what she's in my team for total star that i have her in is still similar to what she had before no before she had up to 50 something 60k hp but right now because i put crit and crit damage into her build she has now dropped a little bit so she still does have enough accuracy to land her debuffs for the nightmare clan boss at least so that's in my new build for deliana build for the clan boss hopefully i can get this hp higher so she can also help me in other content right now her speed went up also from about 170 to about 188. I'm trying to build these champions not just for Nightmare Clan boss. I'm trying to push their speeds as close at 190 as possible so they can be ready for Ultra Nightmare Clan boss also. When I get that extra one key that I'm not going to be using for anything or those extra Clan boss keys, I can put it into Nightmare and get at least one or two of those rewards. I mean, the Ultra Nightmare rewards. So that's why you see all these builds are not pushing 170 speed no i'm pushing above 170 up to 190 so they can be used and better and perform better in other content like the dragon um 24 25 content where we are going to be pushing this week yes i'll be showing you that video tomorrow if we can push dragon away from 20 to 24 right now with these new builds that we have so far that won't be in this video though all right deliana is the first one that i'm extremely proud of for building last time we had um Terrell rebuild so he's already done the next champion i had to regear to be ready for the new content in terms of dungeon content and nightmare content is frozen banshee you see me taking all this gear to 16 because of the artifact enhancement that is going on right now frozen banshee went crazy with her speed i know i'm supposed to stop at 190 192 but i wanted to, this champion to be available and be better at dragon 24 25 so i wanted to be so fast to place that poison sensitivity and place the poison at the same time before the dragon can take a turn so i went way beyond 190 speed and she still does have enough hp and um what do you call it defense right there to survive higher than uh, dungeon content so that's what i built her in a new um, build still no crit rate or crit damage so i can focus on her survivor she's just there for the poisons enough accuracy right there to land poisons for ultra nightmare yes i did push it above um, 200 way above 200 that is needed for the dungeon content and um yeah that's a new build right now better than i had before so i would love to have this um defense at 3000 3005 but hey we can all have it all right so that's the new build for frozen banshee everything is 16 and yeah she does finally did get a banner which made this possible and i had to put hp right here right yeah hp that's why hp went up if i put defense here she will have three five defense but it's hp i have here and defense over here why i still have defense on here and hp here so it's all balanced up hp and defense i didn't focus solely on defense to push her to three five because her hp needs to be high for dungeon content so that's the second champion that i built during this artifact enhancement the next one i didn't have enough silver for but it's rear guard she was recently built but i just upped her defense a little bit a little bit with this new um, gear that i now have to so 3700 defense an ally protection champion like her needs to have higher defense like than others right her hp is kind of low but she works and it also pushed her speed closer to 190 as possible which is 
good for the nightmare. These champions are not speed tuned. I'm not trying to tune for nightmare. No, I can't do nightmare with Ricky without speed tuning it. No, I'm trying to speed tune for ultra nightmare. That's why you see me pushing closer to this 190 speed. So take note, I'm not building a nightmare team. Nightmare is done as far as, far as I'm concerned on listening to pro. We can tricky it with this team that can survive. But I'm trying to do a speed tune for Ultra Nightmare and slowly we'll get to that night 190 range and everybody will be working fine on Ultra Nightmare soon. We just have to make sure we can two key Nightmare or three key before we begin to make that speed tune happen. Accuracy 153 so she can help Terrell with that decreased defense and also with her um, decreased attack that she lands sometimes. So initial build did not have much accuracy above 100 but right now i decided to add a little bit of accuracy and sacrifice that hp for her build no crit rate on crit damage on this champion i don't need her for damage on this team the next champion i built for during this active enhancement was where is it where is it frozen band i mean um high cartoon high cartoon was recently stripped of all her gear and put on apothecary that's why apothecary is at 293 right now she had no gear and i had to just put some stuff on her because i need her for the fire knight she's gonna be my speed lead for this fire knight and if i'm not gonna be using her for the fire knight I'll, my runs on that fire knight will be slow i need her to place that decreased speed at least on the boss she's awesome for that so I'm, that's why i finally put some gear 249 speed on her i still focused on speed so i put together is the fastest at 293 now she is the second fastest at 249 and I'll be running both of them together in the team yes because I still need Apothecary's A1 for that Fire Knight boss because the Maranix Fusion does have a Fire Knight event going on right now which I'm gonna be farming so I had to just build at least one champion for the Fire Knight um, boss so I don't end up farming it at only level 15 so with this new gear this new build I hope I can push the Fire Knight further to maybe reach, reach level 18 or maybe you can hit 20 i'll test it out i didn't have the time to test all this even my clan boss i've not spent my key i've been building all these champions and i've not i would have liked to show you my new um, damage numbers for the newly built team right but we'll push all that to tomorrow today i just wanted to flex the build a little bit and show you what i was able to achieve during this artifact enhancement event with only 20 million silver i was able to regear four champions right that's four right Oh, I forget one more, Rector Dra. Rector Dra speed was at 170 something previously. I just changed one gear, one gear, and it pushed her to 203. So the gear I had previously did not have speed substat on it, but now I have a different chest plate right here which had speed substat. So this pushed her speed up a lot and went over 200 from about 170, 180 to 200, which is awesome eventually i'll need to replace this um, live artifact and replace it with immortal set i've seen that if i can replace it with immortal set i'll be able to push up to 210 yes i have an alternate for it but i don't have the uh, silver right now to make that happen so she will be chilling at her new, new speed of 203 which is perfect for the um, dungeon content we currently use her on when we know people are going to die she comes in there in place instead of apothecary we will just keep us healing and can't revive anybody so that's her new stats her gear is not yet fully maxed because we are low on silver right now so the first artifact enhancement i did not go crazy i just stopped at 10 million but this new artifact enhancement i did go crazy like you're seeing me all these builds are new and let's see how far we went for the artifact enhancement event if we have completed it so far i'll be surprised if we've not cleared everything right now done done yes with 20 million silver i was able to achieve it it's not just 20 million silver i also forged everything i had in the forge every material in the forge has been used that's where another source of silver came from well i do have another 69 right there don't ask me why 69 i didn't want to forge perception and resilience all but i guess i could do it also basically i went here and forged everything you check out all empty even bolster set was all forged this one was just a new set that i had i just got right now I forged everything and sold all three stars and sold all four stars. That's how I was able to get that amount of silver to make these builds possible. So the Noob to Pro, I just simply closed my account, my main account, and focused on this Noob to Pro to make this um, artifact enhancement possible. Because these changes will determine what we do next on the account. And I didn't want to 
procrastinate and let this artifact announcement event end. So that's the biggest news that is coming to the new people in terms of these champions that have been regeared. Again, I can't show you any of the builds, or I mean any of the runs right now because um, I need to close the office. It's already 10 p.m. I just wanted to record this short one to let you know what the Nutu Pro is up to in terms of the um, updates and also the fusion event that is currently going on for Artifact Enhancement. Now that I'm done with Artifact Enhancement, the next thing is Fire Knight. So tonight I'll be letting Fire Knight run at maybe at level 15 or level 16, no matter which one we can do consistently without failing. And then let it run all night till the morning and we get this Fire Knight event done. Because of super rates are on, it will be possible to get it done all night and uh, yeah i hope to get some good fire knight gear which i don't really need maybe for my gamble finally we'll get savage sets maybe possible right there and uh, yeah i hope to see which artifacts we we'll get by the morning and we can do another gear cleanse before this and um, maybe i'll save the next gear cleanse until the next artifact enhancement comes up so all this fire knight gear might not be leveled up until the next we do have another third artifact enhancement event coming up so by then we'll have 10 to 20 million silver more saved up yeah that's what's coming classic arena will start tomorrow again i'm already spending some time in the arena right now because we need to get some stuff done over there but that's what's coming next after fire nights we're chilling nothing else is coming that is important besides this champion chase and i've started preparing for the champion chase by you know those artifacts or those um what do you call it now those stuff i hid away i'm talking about the let me go again the two star chickens that i wanted to keep for broadmoor fusion i started taking them to 30 during this champion training like i make this on 20 i made this on 20 i started taking most of them to 30. so if you see this is already 20 20 they're still 20 so i plan to make all of them 30 during this artifact enhancement event before this so they can all have their during cvc also so they can all have their what do you call it potion farmed up and put into them put those potions into them ready for the champion chase event so i can then fuse 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 i'm still sad that i'm able to get only one of this guy though i'm able to get two of this none of this lady why so it seems i can't even fuse a lot like i originally intended to but during the champion chase i will be opening most of my um, shards so i've gathered enough shards i'm not touching my shards i'm not using my shards right now for champion training i'm waiting until champion chase to open these mystery shards so maybe by then i'll get those two stars that i need that i'm missing right there to fuse a lot of those broadmoor rares all right, that's the short update I have for the Noob to Pro. I just wanted to show you this new stuff. We are winning CVC and the Noob to Pro is doing well to this time in the points. Check out right there. Because of all these events that we are doing, all this gear I took to 16, all these sub, um, forge materials that I opened everything in the forge, that's why we are currently at 60k points right there during this ongoing CVC that does not have personal rewards. So although our opponent seems like they are experienced, we are still winning them right there so the uh, what do you call it now the clan quest has reset so the clan quest has reset so you can head over there get new clans and um, get new quests done and so you can buy more energy right there to complete this mission i'll be buying this 1000 um, energy tonight for the fire night event so that's what i'll be buying check out my um gems still not touched i've still not used any of my gems on this noob to pro um maranix fusion chase so gems is still up to the standard and i've already completed artifact enhancement while i was doing artifact enhancement and leveling up all these champions i noticed that a new quest unlocked i was like one that requires us to put four four uh, artifacts on sets on somebody or something like that he unlocked and it gave us a book and i moved up to the next one which also promises us another book so i was like i didn't know all this were waiting for me over here check out energy 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 and i'm not claiming them right now because i wanted to wait until tonight and a lot of energy 300 so we are spoiled for energy and i'm glad that i kept this quest up till now to do it <laughs> so the next one i'll be equipping is a hp type champion with regen set which i already have regen set and i do have retaliation set and i'll get more more energy 
So it's good because the fire night can be completed hopefully with all this energy we are getting and um, we still won't be able to touch we still won't be able to touch our gems during this fire night which is awesome so this event might end without the noob to pro actually using any of our gems for energy awesome awesome one right there so if you have not done so head over to your champions and spend your books this is the time to use your books on your champions and i've spent my epic books on the champion we were booking right now was Steel Skull, right? Yes. Our books went to the right spot on Steel Skull and that is towards the cooldown on this skill right there and also the cooldown on this skill right there. We're so happy. But Steel Skull is a champion that still needs the A1 to be booked because of this increased chance to place the poison on that A1. So I'll be spending more epic books on this champion for the A1 at least. So hopefully we get that one. Yes, 5% much buff chance right there. So we need two more books to fully book Steel, Steel Skull totally worth it i've not spent my legendary skill tome because i feel like deliana is now fully booked because that's whole, the only skill we need from her and um what's his name ultimate death knight is not featuring a lot in all most of our teams but it's one that if i fully booked it will take us to dungeon 25 so i'm kind of on the fence whether i should spend the rest of these four books on ultimate death knight or save it for somebody else so we don't have any other legendaries on the account that deserves our books definitely not this dude so do we save it for this is day 90 so we are still far away from seal the drake still far away from seal the drake still far away from drekstar so do we save our books and we are already winning cvc so there's no need for me to actually push the rest of these books so let me know if i should spend the rest of book, these books on ultimate death knight a champion who is currently featured in almost every of our team especially difficult stages and um because he keeps us alive with apothecary i don't need rector draft to be in that team but if we don't have the Rek ultimate death knight in the team we usually run rector draft because people will go down so let me know if i should spend my books before um this um what do you call it before cvc ends or not or i should save it for the next cvc to see if we don't get anything good during this ancient 2x ancient this weekend that is coming up we hope to open all our ancient shards and maybe by then i will see if we get another legendary from ancient shards because the first legendary we got from ancient shards was that weird dude which we don't really like a1 single attacks nukes which we don't appreciate all right let me not drag this one any further i've showed you all what the noob pro has been up to all the rewards we are currently waiting to obtain energy everywhere dropping from the sky and we'll be farming the fire knight and getting more resources even from cvc that is currently going on to complete this um fire night event without touching our gems which is awesome right there let me know how your maranix fusion is, is going if you're still pushing for it and remember 2x ancient is coming up so save all your ancient shards for that 2x ancient and for the champion chase that is coming up as part of the maranix fusion so you guys let me know what you think about the changes or the new builds on this new to pro and tomorrow i'll be doing the dungeon runs to show you if we can push towards dungeon 25 on the new to pro in terms of the dragon i mean we'll also be doing the clan boss run to see if we can actually do three key ultra nightmare damage with just our new build or maybe a two key let me know um our current damage for the clan boss is around um what do you call it 10 million to 15 million depending on rng and the champions i have right now i hope to hit about 20 million on the nightmare with this new build i think today i did two key already at 28 million so i need to just spend one more key and see if i can make 15 more million done right there or so affinity is in our favor today even if i do have magic champions which is awesome all right guys hit that like button the new to pro is still pushing forward for marinus fusion and everything is easy as you can see good night guys